Hi and welcome back again. <clears throat> this tutorial uh, I want to look at using the high pass filter and the unsharp mask. Um, carrying on from the last one we were working on the flame nebula and the horse head nebula. I've just uh, quickly brought the image up and um, left it pretty much as I want it at the moment to demonstrate these two methods. So we're going to go to uh, our layers palette and duplicate our layer by dragging it down onto the little icon next to the bin. So we've got our background copy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to now um, apply a high, uh, sorry not a high pass filter, a, uh, an unsharp mask. Because the stars here are a little bit blurry and uh, we just want to sharpen the image up a little bit. So we go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask okay and straight away that sharpens everything up what I've what I've done in the dialog box here I've got the amount set to 81 the radius to 2.7 and the threshold to 0 but if I bring all those slide them back down to 0 again <coughs> you always start off with the amount and just bring that up usually somewhere between 63 70 that sort of uh, area is about right you have to experiment. Then you use the radius and bring that up a little bit. And that will start to sharpen up. You don't want to do it too much, otherwise it looks a bit horrible. But um, yeah, that's about right. So that's set at about 79 and 4.6 radius. Now threshold, <coughs> if you move threshold out, it will smooth out what you've done. I tend to just a tiny little bit with that. I quite like it just at that one. I'll probably set that to about mm, about there, about one. One will do for that one. So if I click on the preview on and off, you can see that's without it, and that's with it. So do have a go with this, the unsharp mask. It's very very useful. It just uh, crisps everything up uh, and um, brings everything into a little bit sharper focus. So I'm happy with that, so I'll click OK. And now what I want to do is I want to apply the high pass filter. Now with the high pass filter, before we start on this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this uh, new layer that I'm working on. I'm going to right click on it and click merge down. <coughs> and that will merge that with the background layer. And then I'm going to duplicate the background layer again drag that down onto the little curled up paper icon next to the bin and let go and that will give us that background copy which is the one we'll be working on. Now the high pass filter we'll do in two stages first we'll do a fine one and then we'll do a slightly uh, um, rougher one just to bring out more detail. Okay so to use the high pass filter we're working on this top layer here and we're going to go over here to filter and we're going to go down to other and we'll select high pass now when you do that everything will go grey and you'll get your little high pass box up so to start off first of all we'll use the, the radius bar down here we'll set that to somewhere about um, 8, 8.5 and when you do that you can see we're sharpening up the horse head nebula and, and on some of the nebulosity here on the flame nebula. That's only a small amount to start off with, but that's fine. So we're going to click OK. And when we've done that, <coughs> the next stage is to change the blending mode of this background layer here from normal, which you go up here where it says normal, click on the little box, and we're going to change that to uh, overlay. So we click on overlay. It'll bring everything back again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add, as we did in the last tutorial about hide all layers, last but one. Uh, so we're going to now add a hide all layer to this. So we go up to layers, and we go to layer mask, and we select hide all. And what that will do is hide all of the 
sharpening that we've done over the whole of the image and we're just going to apply it selectively now using this hide all layer mask so again over to the foreground area here which must be in white if it's not select the de default foreground and background colors which is black and white and then make sure you set your foreground color to white and then with that done go up to your brush select your brush tool you want to use the soft brush and when you go up to opacity up here I've got that set to 20% and 52% for the flow which is about right, you can experiment with that I'm just going to increase my brush size yeah, that's good enough ok, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start applying the high pass filter to um, specific areas. So I'm going to I'm going to apply it first of all to the horse head nebula. Just around the edges there. Just to sharpen that up. And also over the uh, nebulosity there, over the dust lens. As I do this, as I apply this high pass filter, you'll see it up here in the hide all layer starting to there. I'm also going to carry on over here and just apply that filter to the flame nebula just around some of the area I want to bring out and sharpen up a little bit. This is quite subtle but it does, when you're finished it's, it's a really good effect. Okay, so we're done with that. Now if I click on the Alt key and press the hydal layer itself, so hold down Alt and click in that little black box. You can see there where I've been applying the high pass filter. And what I've done here is I've applied the filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and it's at 5.9 radius. And I've said OK. And that's just blurred the areas that I'm sharpening so it's not so harsh on the edges. So I go over here now and click back on the first um, little box which brings our picture back. Okay, so we've now applied selectively the high pass filter, the first one, to the horse head nib and all these little areas using our small brush. Now we're going to do it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the background layer here, select that, and we're going to drag it down and we're going to duplicate that. This will give us background copy too. And we're going to do exactly the same again. We're going to apply a high pass filter to it. So with that selected, go up here, go to filter, go down to other and select high pass. Now, this time we pump the radius up to about 50, 57 to 60, 50, 40, for between 45 and 50 which um, applies a lot more sharpening to a lot, uh, a lot wider area. And say OK, as before. And then we're going to change the blending mode again, but this time we're going to change it to soft light. So we'll click on that. And now we've done that, we're going to apply the hide all layer. So we have to go back up here again to layer. What we'll do after we've done that, we'll come over here to the foreground and background colors again, making sure that white is selected. We'll select our brush, but we'll just increase the brush size now, just a little bit bigger, leaving the opacity at 20% and the flow at 52%. We'll now start to apply this second uh, high pass filter, and with this one, we can be a little bit more generous and go over the the bigger areas here. in your own way, but this is applying the high pass filter to those bigger areas that you want sharpened up. Yeah. And just carry on till you're happy with what you've done. There we go. Okay. Now I'm 
finished. So what do we do now? We go back to our layers palette and we select the first one. And if we click on the little eyes next to the layers, we can see what we've been doing. So if I click off both of those, that's the background before we did any sharpening. And then this is when we've applied the sharpening. Now, it might be difficult for you to see that, but it has sharpened up the details around the nebula and the horsehead nebula and around the clouds here and the dust layers. It's sharpened up really nicely. So all we need now to do is go to that top layer, right click on it, merge down. It will say the underlying layer has a layer mask. If this is preserved, then it will mask, mask the merge result. Apply the mask before emerging. Apply. And then the same with the other one. Merge down. And there you go. And so there you are. You've applied your uh, sharpening and sharp mask. And then you've applied the, um, the high pass filter to it. Okay, so that's how you do that. That's the unsharp mask, which again is filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And then you used the uh, <laughs> used the, sh the sharp, hang on, I'll get it right in a minute. Where are we? Filter, other, high pass filter. It's getting late. To stop anyway, so that's a, a little tutorial on using the high pass filter and the unsharp mask. Again, if you've got any questions or you need any help, astrocasto.blogspot.com. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next tutorial. And in the next tutorial, um, what should we do? I think we'll look at the next tutorial a little bit more about um, increasing contrast and saturation and those sort of things. Just a few more little helpful hints to, to get you going. Alright, thank you very much and we'll see you in the next tutorial.